Hello students, welcome to our channel, Learning Notebook. In this video, we will learn how to do multiplication of a three-digit number by a one-digit number. Let's understand it with the help of a real-life example. If an aeroplane can carry 312 passengers, then how many passengers can three aeroplanes carry? In such cases, we multiply. In this particular case, we will multiply 312 by 3. So let's multiply. To multiply, first we need to write the numbers in column as shown here. Now we will multiply it in three steps. In step 1, multiply 3 by 2 once. That is 3 into 2 equals to 6. In next step, we will multiply 3 by 1 tenths, which means we will do 3 into 1 equals to 3. Now, in step 3, we will multiply 3 by 3 hundreds. 3 into 3 equals to 9. So, we get the product as 936. Let's write the answer. 312 into 3 equals to 936. Students, this is also an example of multiplication without regrouping. In our next example, we will see how to do multiplication with regrouping. Let's see the next example. If one jar contains 124 toffees, so how many toffees can four such jars contain? Again, students, this is a case of multiplication. So, here we will multiply 124 by 4. To multiply these two numbers, let's first write them in columns. Now, in step 1, we will multiply 4 by 4 ones. So, 4 into 4 equals to 16. Students, here we need to regroup 16. 16 means 1 tenths and 6 ones. So, we will carry 1 to the tenths place and 6 comes in the answer. Now, in step 2, multiply 4 by 2 tenths. 4 into 2 equals to 8. But please note, we also have 1 as carry due to regrouping in step 1. So, what to do with this carry at tens place? We will add it. 8 tens plus 1 carry equals to 9 tens. So, write 9 in the answer. Now, in step 3, multiply 4 by 1 hundreds. 4 into 1 equals to 4. So, let's write the answer. 124 into 4 equals to 496. Now, the next example is, Myra wants to buy a new bicycle. She saves rupees 548. Her mom tells her that she needs to save 5 times this amount. So, how much money does Myra need to buy this bicycle? So, students, again this is a case of multiplication. So, here we will multiply 548 by 5. So, let's multiply these numbers. 
first write them in columns. Now, in step 1, we will multiply 5 by 8 once. 5 into 8 equals to 40. Students, we need to regroup 40. 40 means 4 tens and 0 ones. So, let's carry 4 to the tens place and 0 comes in the answer. In step 2, multiply 5 by 4 tens. 5 into 4 equals to 20. But we also have 4 as carry due to regrouping in step 1. So, what to do with this carry? We will add it. So, 20 tens plus 4 carry equals to 24 tens. Now, students, we need to regroup 24 tens. This time, we have the digits at tens place. So, 24 tens means two hundreds and four tens. So, let's carry two to the hundreds place and four comes in the answer. Now, in step three, multiply five by five hundreds, which means five into five equals to twenty-five. Now, we also have two as carry due to regrouping at tens place. So, let's add that carry to 25. So, 25 plus 2 equals to 27. So, we get the product as 2740. Let's write the answer. 548 into 5 equals to 2740. Now the last question is, if a book has 199 pages, so how many pages do 9 such books have? So students, again this is the case of multiplication. Here we will multiply 199 by 9. So let's multiply these two numbers by first writing them in column form. In first step, we will multiply 9 by 9, which is equals to 81. So carry 8 to the tens place and write 1 in the answer. In step 2, multiply 9 by 9, which is equals to 81. But we also have a carry 8 here. So we will add 8 and 81. And we get 89. Now again we will regroup 89. It means carry 8 to the hundreds place. And write 9 in the answer. In step 3, multiply 9 by 1. Which is equals to 9. And add carry 8 to 9 and we get 17. So the product is 1791. Let's write the answer 199 into 9 equals to 1791. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.